Cleansers, in my opinion, can make or break your skincare routine. I did a split face experiment. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, this is Mo from Mo Skin Lab. I'm a pharmacist, toxicologist, and safety assessor. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare ingredients and their safety. If that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe and join this community. Okay, let's talk about cleansers. I consider them, in my personal opinion, a make it or break it type of product because cleansers, from the name, has one job and one job only is to cleanse your skin from the uh, accumulation of sebum, dirt, or dead skin cells. But when the cleanser is not suited for your skin, it can make your next step a little bit annoying and make the start of your skincare routine turn from skincare routine to a task that you want to finish as soon as possible. So in my opinion, finding the perfect uh, cleanser for your skin type that allow your skin to feel nice cleansed without being stripped or dry is an essential step. And for that reason, I did a little bit of experiment. I did a split face experiment where I take you, as you can see in the video, I take you to my small bathroom to do this experiment. I split my face in half and I used two cleanser, one that I know and I've tried for a while that it can cause a little bit of drying after. And the other one is one of my latest found that I'm really enjoying and it's nice. I talked about it a lot in my previous videos. And what I did after is that I cleansed my face for around 10 to 20 seconds, then let it dry a little bit. Then I dried it with a tissue, a little bit of patting so it doesn't cause any type of irritation or redness. What I did after is that the phone that I'm recording on has a nice feature called Super Macro Video, where it allows you to take videos and photos at a very short distance from the subject with great details and sharp focus. I took a couple of videos, I will put them right here and put the title for which type of cleanser it is. For the right side, which for the cleanser that is a little bit of drying, it is called B Plain, a green full pH balanced cleansing foam. Although it is from formulation wise has mild surfactant, but I don't know why it caused a little bit of drying. As you can see in the videos and in the picture, the skin look a little bit tight, look a little bit dried or stripped, and I can feel it when I touch my face or I move my skin in that area. For the left side, I used the Niche Beauty Lab, their transparent uh, lab line, the Rose Calming Cleanser, also pH 5.5. Both of those are pH 5.5. And the skin feels cleanse, not overly dried, because as you know, no matter what type of the cleanser, a little bit of stripping will happen because it is the general uh, function of that cleanser. It contains the active uh, molecule surfactants that help to take away the oil, anything that is oil soluble, and make it uh, emulsify with water and be cleansed away. So what we learned from this little fun experience is that it is essential in my opinion to look for a good cleanser that suits your skin. Relying on ingredient list alone is not enough relying if it's foaming or not foaming is not enough. You have to try it. I wish there are more companies that make more sample size cleanser so you can try it out before buying the full size, but let's hope more companies achieve this step. So here are my final tips. I'm already working, by the way, on the surfactant video and debunking the myth about surfactants and cleansers. But here is our my tips. Don't rely on ingredient list on reading the mild surfactant. Both of those have amino based surfactants, but this one dries me out and this one doesn't. It may be related to other extract that exist in the uh, cleanser. It may be something the mixture of uh, surfactant can make different type of micelles that do the cleansing. Some of them can be more harsher than the others and you have to try it, the cleanser by yourself is the ultimate advice that I can provide you. Ingredient list doesn't give you anything, uh, type of surfactant doesn't give you a lot of information if it's fragrance or not, pH doesn't give a lot of information because both of those have the same pH, 5.5, and what I would do is just as an extra step is reach out to the brand before purchasing the cleanser and just ask them, most of brands have 
customer service that provide you with skin consultation kind of services. So just reach out to them and ask them that, is this cleanser gonna dry out my skin? I have a, a, this specific type of uh, skin. I tried X, Y, and Z, and I want something that give me A, B, and C type of results. So that was my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what topics I need to cover next. And as always, stay safe. See you in the next one. Bye.